Hi, this is Phil Necro. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. This is Mark the Banks, and I'm on deck with Tyler Redman. Welcome to On Deck, I'm Tyler Redman. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, and make sure to hit the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I drop something new. Yesterday, the Braves faced off against each other in another inter-squad game, and it would be Fulte taking on Sean Newcomb, and Fultonevich looked really good. Uh, first appearance since, well, you know, last time we saw him, which was against the Cardinals in the NLCS last year. And I think we all uh, are happy to see him go three innings scoreless. And uh, he looked sharp uh, by all accounts. He looked really good. Uh, he gave up no hits. The only you know blemish, I guess, on his uh, game yesterday was he walked Charlie Culberson. And you remember what I said uh, when this, when these first started about scrim about playing in a scrimmage versus playing an actual live game. And uh, Fultonevich actually had a quote. And this is it. I got to the field today and there were some butterflies in my stomach, but it wasn't near as crazy as opening day or a game in September. And that's what I worry about with these scrimmages. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot, you know, we're getting back to baseball, we're getting the fundamentals back, but it's not a, a necessarily a competition like you would have in a regular season game. So I hope that the Braves are preparing enough to get ready for the regular season. Uh, Newcomb, you know, Newcomb wasn't quite as sharp as Fulte was yesterday. Uh, he allowed two homers. Uh, the offense impressed a little bit more than the other day, but Newcomb uh, did give up two homers. They were to Travis Darno and the other to William Contreras. So the catchers are really impressing here. Uh, Contreras, if you don't know who William Contreras is, he's the brother of Wilson Contreras, and I think he's uh, the future of the catching position for the Braves. Uh, as you know, Tyler Flowers' contract ends at the end of this year. I think that's going to give time for Shea Langoliers to come up, and then Travis Darno isn't going to be around with the Braves much longer after that, so I think William Contreras could see time uh, next season. Uh, and, of course, there's not too much depth at the catching position. If one of them gets hurt, Shea Lang Lears is coming up. So, uh, Snicker still gave credit to Newcomb, even though he gave up those two homers. He's got an improved breaking ball, so that's something to, uh, you know, be excited about with Sean. He's still battling for a, a rotation spot. He's got a roster spot. It's probably going to see him in the bullpen to start the season out. Uh, maybe in the rotation, depending on how much the Braves believe in him. And to give him some credit, we are just getting back. So don't uh, worry about him too much. But another homer that happened later in the game will bring a smile to any Braves fan's face. Uh, Charlie Culberson hit one off Grant Dayton. And Charlie has been battling for a spot ever since he was re-signed to the Braves on a minor league deal. And it's good to see him battling and uh, succeeding in this way. I think a player like Charlie Culberson is going to be so important to the Braves this season because it is only 60 games. You need people that can play multiple positions, and if anybody can do that, it's Charlie Culberson. And not to mention, he's a good bat to have around late in games. He, I th he's played just about every position except catcher, uh, including pitcher, by the way. So I think the importance of having Charlie here is, is really proving itself now. And I think it's going to prove itself later this season. I do think he's going to be in that 30-man uh, roster spot to start off the season. And it's looking by all accounts that that's his goal. Uh, and then we'll see how he does in the regular season. Hopefully he'll be able to hang around with the Braves. We all know he really wants to stay in Georgia. It's his home. Uh, so hopefully he'll be able to do that. So to bring it back to the pitching side of things, A.J. Minter caught some attention yesterday in a good way. Snicker said that right now, A.J. Minter is looking like the 2017 A.J. Minter. And what that tells me, if you don't remember, around 2017, everybody thought A.J. Minter could be the future closer of the Braves. He lost it over the next couple of years. Uh, he didn't look like himself. So if you dislike it, just remember, people were excited about A.J. Minter at that time. He's a left-handed hand to have in the bullpen. And I've said numerous times, I'll continue to say it, the importance of the bullpen in 2020 for the Braves is going to be astronomical. Uh, especially early on, mainly because you're going to have people like Cole Hamels who are only going to throw a couple innings if he even starts off the season at the right time. So time is ticking for him to be ready. I really think that the bullpen is going to need, you know, one, they're going to need uh, people to man that spot. So the Braves, the Braves have a great bullpen, but they're also going to need a couple extra hands to be able to perform well, and A.J. Mincer could be one of those people. So with Cole Hamels, you know, they're playing it safe. Hopefully he'll be able to get around before uh, opening day. Uh, he doesn't start opening day. That's, that spot's pretty much been given to Mike Soroka. He'll be facing Jake DeGrom with the Mets on the 24th of July. So Cole Hamels will maybe have you know, a week to get ready. 
uh, after opening day starts. So can you blame the Braves for playing it safe with Cole Hamels? I don't think so. Uh, we saw how touchy it was. I think it was like a day into spring training and he was already hurt. So hopefully they'll be able to uh, sort everything out with him and get everybody uh, back into gear. The Braves offense is finally starting to see uh, some light. You know, yesterday there wasn't a lot of offense. Uh, it was pretty much just Duvall's homer and a couple of hits here and there. But good to see that, uh, you know, Charlie Culberson is performing well. Good to see that uh, the catching position is in good hands with Darno. And uh, good to see Fulty back in a way that we want to see Fulty back. So I really think uh, the Braves are going to get into gear. Side note here, uh, you know, everybody's kind of wondering how this is going to go with no fans in attendance. And I was worried that the Braves wouldn't be able to, you know, get into gear, get into an uh, athletic mindset, get into a competitive mindset. Ronald Acuna was, uh, I guess you'd say, chirping uh, throughout the entire game yesterday. So I'm excited to hear uh, how that's going to go in the regular season. Hopefully you know, there'll be some mic'd up moments that are entertaining. Uh, and I'm glad to see that the Braves are, are getting into gear, getting into a competitive mindset. And I think they'll have that uh, throughout this entire season. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Tell me, you know, are you worried about Sean Newcomb? Are you excited about Mike fulton -Evich? Are you worried about Mike fulton -Evich? And what do you think should happen with Charlie Culberson? Do you, do you hope he makes a roster spot? Do you hope he's a little bit more than that? And, uh, you know, let me know what you think about the catchers. You know, they made an impact yesterday. And uh, I'll keep you up to date as much as I can throughout these scrimmages and, of course, into the regular season. I plan to do these kind of recaps uh, so you can stay up to date as much as possible. Uh, you know, it's only 60 games. So doing a game every day, every game's going to matter. So that's why we're going to do a recap uh, every day as much as possible. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so that you can be notified. Uh, and I'll see you next week on deck.